Okay, so hanging out in Dallas, Texas, I had a chance to uh, get abducted at 6 a.m. by David Spina, the top network marketing leader here in uh, the Metroplex. And uh, David's a student of the business. And so let's talk a little bit about that for a second. Share with people why we got up at six o'clock this morning, where we are and how dedicated you are to that. And what's that, why is that important in your business? Well, I think uh, at the end of the day, you never get away from the fundamentals. I don't care how much money you make in this business. It's so important to uh, stay with the fundamentals and that's rolling up your sleeves and going to work every single day like you start out brand new. And so uh, I gave Ken the call this morning and said, hey, you're in Texas, you're in Dallas. Uh, wakey, wakey, it's six o'clock in the morning. We're gonna go to a business networking meeting and uh, roll up our sleeves and meet some people and have some fun. So we were down here in uh, downtown Dallas at 7 a.m. We had breakfast, we went to a BNI meeting, there were 60 people there, and David was a consummate gentleman. I mean, you were not just out there pitching your network marketing company and rolling people over, but I, I saw you really interacting with people and building friendships with folks. Tell yeah, me about that. Yeah, I think, I think most people make the mistake, they get so anxious to uh, recruit people in their business that they go into a room full of new prospects and they pull out their business card and they start hand, handing it out. Oh, you look like a sharp person. You'd be great for this business. And what I realized, it turns a lot of people off. So uh, what I've learned from you is that really just take your time. We're building relationships here. If you if you take time to build the friendships, the, the quality of relationships that last, the business will come. You know, some people will become just customers. Uh, some people actually become consultants in the business and if not a lot of times they'll lead me to other people so right. I've really taken the time to learn that and that's uh, something when I go to these these different groups is is build the relationship first so I'm gonna run all over America I'm gonna find thousands of network marketing leaders and of course in all of them I end up asking the question how important is it to be a student of the business the, the most important thing you can do if you're not a student constantly learning and growing your dime. So I don't care how much money that you've made, if you stop learning and stop being mentored, uh, your income's gonna stop. What about books and CDs? What's your favorite book? Uh, the Most Important Minute, right, <laughs> is my favorite book. No, I, that really, that book can really put me on the, the, the right mindset to uh, get my business up and rolling. I had already been making uh, tons of residual income when I decided that I was going to become a student again and that was the first book that really inspired me to uh, start getting back to the basics and, and, and doing what's important uh, in my, my network marketing business. So I would say that book really inspired me to, to kind of put the, the nitro in my gear to get back after it. Thanks a lot. <laughs> hey listen, take David's advice seriously. If you're interested in making more money in your network marketing business, then become a student of the business and think about what he put me through today. Half a million dollars a year in his network marketing company and he's dragging me out of bed at six o'clock in the morning to go prospecting. Go out there and have yourselves a great day and don't forget, if you wanna be a success in network marketing, you've gotta be a student of the business.